Welcome to the Project Zion podcast. This podcast explores the unique spiritual and theological gifts Community of Christ offers for today's world. Welcome to Project Zion podcast. We're introducing a new series for 2021 called Hebrew, a play on words that keeps us in the coffee vernacular, but introduces us to our topic, which is the Hebrew scriptures, or more commonly known as the Old Testament. The series will walk us through some of the main areas of focus in a way that hopefully reduces Old Testament bitterness through (laughs) explanation, exploration, and through experiencing the text. So I'm Karen Peter, and I'm uh, happy to serve as host for the series, but the heavy lifting is going to be done by our guides through the Old Testament, Tony and Charmaine Shvala-Smith. So, Tony, some people really like the Old Testament, but others find it confusing, judgmental, and often uh, violent. So what kinds of things will we be talking about in this new series? So we're familiar with some of those common reactions to the Old Testament, because one of the things that Charmaine and I do is we teach an Old Testament intro to undergrads at Graceland, and working through people's stuff about the Old Testament is one of the things we like to do. So in in this series, we want to make sure each time we talk about what Scripture is and what it isn't, and then we'll especially want to focus on what is the Old Testament? What are we talking about when we talk about this particular collection of books. And also we we will want to, you know, reflect on why would we do a series on the Old Testament? A lot of people are thinking that, Tony. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure they, they are. I'm sure they are. <laughs> and part of part of people's reaction to the Old Testament comes from the expectation that somehow scripture ought to speak immediately directly to us in language we're familiar with. In fact, the Old Testament is a large collection of ancient literature that speaks in the idiom of its time. And so we have to we have to make some adjustments when we go to the Old Testament and 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 be ready to it's like when you go to a different country, a, a different culture, you 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 can't expect everybody to be like you are back home. You need to make adjustments. And it's the same thing there. I mean, we're going to be dealing with pieces of literature that talk about experiences that were formed in the Bronze Age, for goodness sakes. So, uh, and some in the Iron Age. And so um, when we reach <clears throat> difficult texts, and there's lots of them in the Hebrew Bible, we will, we will constantly want to ask, or ask you know, what's going on in this context? That's one of the ways that we can especially come to appreciate how people in that very distant era from us encountered God and how they talked about their encounters with God and why some of their language is different from language we would use. And also, it's good to remember that there's humor in the Old Testament, believe it or not. And we usually just think of the judgment part, but there's humor and there's provocativeness. My favorite part. (laughs) So hopefully we'll help to explore some of those as well. So uh, kind of along that line, Charmaine, what what if we really hate some of these scriptures? I mean, I find delight in some of them that are probably a bit racy when you get into them a little bit. But, you know, for a lot of people, the scriptures have been used in ways that have wounded or diminished them. Are we going to try to sugarcoat this in these some of these difficult passages? Or are there ways to experience these um, texts? Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. We think that there are ways of appreciating these texts without pretending that some of them are, aren't are offensive. They're, they are. Some, uh, for our understanding and our culture and our time, um, do not speak the, the kind of loving, forgiving God that we might want most for people to understand and see and experience. And so we, and we need to look at uh, what's really there in the text and acknowledge that there's some things that that aren't uh, aren't translatable into our time in any positive way. And so that's part of what we're going to do is to acknowledge that many people have been harmed by the use of the Old Testament. And, and so we'll acknowledge that 
and say that there's some texts that won't be safe for people to go to. And that's okay. Um, if you can't come with us on some of these, that's great. But if you can, we'll give you some new ways to read things. Not to, as you say, sugarcoat or just make it all shiny and new, but to, to let it be what it is uh, from its time, from the, the authors who wrote it and with their limitations, but also with their richness of understanding. We'll keep trying to point to the fact that these are simply writers who are trying to tell us about their experience with God. Mm -hmm. And so it's what they're pointing to that matters most here, which is God. And so we'll, we'll try and figure out what might be shaping them as they're pointing to this experience with God that they're wanting to share in some way. So that's how we're going to approach it. Uh, not that you have to take it all in or love it all or find it applicable to your own life, but maybe to to see whether or not it has some new aspects of understanding of humanity or of God or of that relationship that you might want to explore. Those are encouraging thoughts as we go forward. I'll be honest, just okay. think about the Old Testament. Okay, that that helps with the reducing the bitterness piece that we talked about earlier. So let's talk a little bit about the format for the episode so people kind of know um, what to expect as we go uh, forward. Great. We're going with the th with our three E's this time. And the first about 15 minutes of our sessions will be explain. So it'll be talking about uh, the text. It might be a specific text or it might be a little bit of background about the, the Old Testament or Hebrew scriptures in general. And so that's the first part, explaining uh, some informational pieces. Then the second part, <clears throat> second part is explore and explore is where we step back and we let all of our questions surface. The easy questions, the hard questions, the questions we would never say out loud in Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have to be able to question the text uh, because we want to approach this literature honestly. And part of that's just, you know, saying, goodness, this passage we just read, this is really disturbing to me or this has images in it I don't fully understand, or where where would the author be getting this stuff? <laughs> Those are the kinds of questions we want to deal with. So that's the second part, explore. And then the third part is experience. And this is a way of engaging with a passage or, or a couple of passes, passages of scripture and seeing, you know, are there parts here that fit for us? Are there parts <clears throat> that will help our own discipleship? And this might be done in as a Bible study, it might be done as a spiritual practice, but it'll be a chance to go a little deeper with the passage itself or parts of a passage and see if, if scripture can be one of the things that we always hope it can be, uh, is a meeting place with God. Not that it's saying every word, you know, the words in it are not God's words spoken and written down, but Scripture has been found to be a pretty reliable place to meet God, to to have encounter, to have an openness to God. So that's the experience part. One of the things that uh, participants in this podcast might find helpful is a, a text to read. And so our, our standard undergraduate text is by Clyde Font and Donald Musser and Mitchell Reddish. And it's called An Introduction to the Bible, Revised Edition. It's this revised edition is approximately 20 years old, but it is still a wonderful, wonderful, straightforward, simple and fairly complete introduction to the whole Bible. Along the way, we'll recommend other books, other introductions to the Hebrew Bible, some of which are more recent than this. But we like this one. It's very accessible and easy, easy for for people to read and use. Also, we will constantly use the new revised standard version as the as our version of choice for this the set of podcasts so we'll say more about that in another another episode so just a quick fyi for our listeners if you're interested in the text that tony mentioned you can actually get a free pdf of it at academia.edu there's an app on that site that you can download and the text appears uh, at no cost 
And also um, there are multiple Bible apps, including the Olive Tree Bible app, where you can get a free download of the NRSV. So that might help some of our folks who nice. listen uh, and or now watch this uh, podcast and video cast on their cell phone. They'll have those resources available for them. So what you're saying, Karen, is like study the Old Testament with us and get free stuff. There you go. Get yeah. some <laughs> bonus things here with this. We are all about having a good experience <laughs> with the Old Testament. We're going to be in it for a year as we go through this series. <laughs> so we might as well have some fun with it. And maybe that's something else to man mention is that we'll be doing four sessions on the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament. And then we'll be doing four sessions on the prophets, which are the middle section of the Old Testament. And then four sessions on the writings, which are the miscellaneous of the Hebrew Bible. <laughs> so. Okay, looking forward to this. Um, as we go through it. Any last thoughts you want to share with people as we invite them to go on this year-long journey through the Old Testament with us? One thing, yeah, the Old Testament has lots of difficult passages in it, but it has passages that are absolutely essential to a peace and justice movement today. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King made copious use of the Hebrew Bible's prophets because the Old Testament prophets were the ones who clearly saw that the divine human encounter ought to issue in what we would call social justice. And so, so there's, there's, there's lots for us to learn in the Hebrew Bible that is directly ap applicable to our own time, especially when it comes to issues of justice, equality, and uh, fighting racism in our, in our world today. And that puts the other piece in that I would say, which is it's easy sometimes for Christians to say, well, you know, the Old Testament was that mean God. And the New Testament is the the friendly, happy God um, in Jesus. And so uh, we always try to help people say, actually, it's the same God that's all the way through. And can we see that same God? So that will be one of our, our hopes and challenges is to help to see the continuity of the God that, that people have experienced today, the God of the New Testament and the God of the Old Testament. Indeed relevant for our current context. So I want to thank you both for doing this little short PR, PZP podcast, and inviting people uh, to tune in for 2021's exploration of the Old Testament called Hebrew. And uh, I will be there with my drink uh, of choice today, decaf. And uh, thanks again for spending a few minutes, Tony and Charmaine, to share with us about the new series. We hope all our listeners will tune in when we debut in January 2021, which is coming right up here at Project Zion Podcast. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening. Thanks for listening to Project Zion Podcast. Subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcast, Stitcher, or whatever podcast streaming service you use. And while you are there, give us a five-star rating. Project Zion Podcast is sponsored by Latter-day Seeker Ministries of Community of Christ. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are of those speaking and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of Latter-day Seeker Ministries or Community of Christ. The music has been graciously provided by Dave Hines. 